Hey everyone, Victor here uh, from Mapster yet again, uh, just to help out a little bit with some more digital map making stuff. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about multi polygons. Uh, these are, it's a bit of an esoteric topic, but we had a comment on the channel with someone who was having some trouble with multi polygons. Uh, so I thought I'd make a quick video just to go over a little bit about the format and what these are. Um, so there's a few different types of data when it comes to your geographic information. There's points, lines, um, or line string, polygon, and then there's like multi-line string and multi-polygon. Um, multi-line strings and multi-polygons are like shapes that combine multiple of what it sounds like into one, right? So you might be wondering like, why would you even do this? So in some cases, there's just situations that this might occur. For instance, um, I have an example here from Stack Overflow where someone's asking about how holes work. So you might have a shape something like this where uh, you might have actually like holes inside of a polygon. Let's say you're trying to draw, you know, the land of a certain area and you wanna cut out the inner part that is the water without actually making two different polygons. That might be a case to make a multi-polygon. Um, another multi-polygon that isn't about like holes, like a donut, we might call that like a donut shape, um, would be, uh, I've run into this when it comes to the, the, the shape for Canada on world maps. Uh, we have all these different islands that are separate and we don't necessarily want a polygon that just goes over all of Canada like that. We want to catch each of these islands but still have it be one shape and that would be another multi-polygon. So we have two types really like and they, these types can combine as well um, but uh, fundamentally we have ones where there's multiple discrete polygons in one shape and one where there's holes inside of a polygon. So um, normally when it comes to uh, making polygons, uh, we just have like an array of an array and everything's kind of nested inside. So uh, I'm sure if you've played around with poly with, with uh, GeoJSONs at all, uh, you'll, you'll be pretty familiar with uh, some of this kind of like array situation that goes on with coordinates. So a great site I like to use is geojson.io. You can really easily see your geojson as you're creating it and get a good sense of how the coordinates work. So when it's a single point, we just have a coordinate and then we have a, a, a longitude and a latitude and the end of the array. When it's a line, we have a first array, then a second array and a set of of points individually, right? Um, so the first array and then this would be a point and there would be another point and another point. When it comes to a polygon, we have a third level. So we have an array and then another array and then a series of points, okay? And then when it comes to multi-polygon, we're gonna add in another one. So array, 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 and then a series of points, okay? So it's confusing and it's gonna be like this, but <clears throat> um, if you just think up from a point, point to line to polygon to multi-polygon, um, that's what's going on. So you can see here, I've drawn some just like starter shapes that I'm gonna use to make our multi-polygon. So I have, first of all, two separate polygons, and then I have this polygon that has another polygon inside it. So I wanna cut out this piece instead of have them just be two separate polygons. So there's, this is a, a nice little uh, example on Stack Overflow, I'll link in, in the description, um, that tells you quite clearly how it works. So here's a uh, multi-polygon with coordinate, and there's a polygon, and the hole is uh, next to it. And he has this example, which, which is this one. So we can see here we have this, like I said, array, 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 and then a set of coordinates that is the polygon. So these uh, one, two, three, four points, and then the fifth is the same as the first one, because that's how polygons work. And then we have another um, set, which is one of these holes, and another one, which is the next hole. So if we want to recreate this on our GeoJSON, first of all, we're going to have to rename, call this, uh, first one, the multi-polygon instead, and it's gonna tell us, oh, that's wrong, because we need another array level. So we'll add another array here, and then we need to add another one at the end as well, to make sure that we're not just getting normal syntax errors. Okay, and now we need to add the coordinates from, this is our second shape here. So we need to put this in the right place. So this guy said the polygon went here, so let's try putting it right there and looks like we got an error 
hold on, let's just try. Um, first of all, let's get rid of this second one so we can accurately see if what we're doing actually works. Okay, and now um, sometimes I get this jumpiness with geojson.io. It's the only kind of bad thing about the site. But here, this is containing our polygon. So if I put a comma here and then put this here, we will need to wrap this as well. Um, so we're getting a little bit confusing here, but we're going to just, we're going to look at this again in a moment. So we made our multi polygon. Okay. So there's kind of like a lot of weird indentation that just went on here. Um, but let's just look at it. So we have this array, array, array. We added an, we added this one because we had a polygon that we made into a multi. This holds our outer polygon. So this holds our outer shapes. And then right next to it is one that's holding the inner shape. So there we are with this second one. And that is cutting out from the first one. Okay, now if we want to add this other shape into it, so we have a multi polygon that is not, you can see here there's a separate polygon. That doesn't necessarily go in the same place because we're not making, this isn't going to be like a hole inside this other one. It's actually another whole set of a polygon. So we're going to copy this one out, this whole container for it, and copy that, delete this extra polygon so it's not there, and now we have to figure out where to add this. So in this sense, we can look at this outer set here um, as the container for this particular shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here, we're going to add another array like this, and then paste that in. Okay, so now we, we got it jumped in there. Let's see if when we open up a new geojson.io and paste it in, it looks like it all works. Okay, so now let's look real quick. Let's clean this up. So we're just going to format JSON and just again look to make sure we understand how many indentations are going on. So we'll just copy this and we will pop this open. And just to make sure we really understand. So here we are, we have our feature collection, we have our multi polygon. Okay, so if we look at this and we consider this first array as just a holder for the entire shape, okay, the entire multi polygon, this is our kind of container for the whole thing, okay. And then each of these arrays inside the multi polygon, each of these first level arrays is going to hold a separate polygon. So if I make this smaller, you can see I have two separate polygons. Okay. So that that's where our two different polygons that aren't holes or whatever. And then once I get inside a single polygon, so now I'm inside this single polygon, I can put items beside each other that will exclude. Um, so the first one should be our like largest polygon and then the second one um, will be a hole in that polygon. So that's how you're going to format multi polygons. Now again it's not like it's super intuitive you are just going to have to fiddle with this a bit but hopefully that makes it a little clear. Again this is a good stack overflow answer at least for the polygon hole so um, if we were to write this with multi polygons um, we would do it like this to make it clear how it works with distinct polygons as well. So hopefully this helps make uh, multi polygons a little clearer for you to work with. Um, they should work just fine in all of your mapping software, whether that's Leaflet, Mapbox, Google Maps, they all handle multi polygons just fine um, as single as single feature. And that's really handy, but it's good to know how to put them together and how to know how to spot an error in them when you're working with them. So thank you very much. Hope uh, you have a good day.